In this video, I'm going to show you what I consider to be the best passing concept in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you are sitting there and you are looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos. So be sure to hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And we're going to dive right in. Now, the best passing concept in Madden 21 for my money, if I had to put money on this, I would tell you that the best passing concept in the entire game is the play flood. And the reason why is because it gives you answers literally against any coverage with very simple adjustments. You can quick snap this play. You can, you can literally, I mean, you can run an entire game with this. If you watch the stream last night, if you guys don't know, I stream, ev uh, I stream every night and I'm actually tinkering a little bit with the time right now um, because I just relocated to Twin Falls, Idaho, but uh, I stream every single night, and what I'm what I'm working on right now is we're looking to probably stream um, from about six to eight p.m. Um, on Mountain Time, which is practically for you guys going to be uh, eight o'clock p.m. to ten p.m. Eastern Time. So if you want to catch the stream, just make sure you're subscribed, and you'll be able to know whenever we go live. But the reason why bunches or um, last night's stream, I ran this play probably about eighty percent of the game, and. The reason why is because there is such a specific set of adjustments that your opponent has to make to be able to stop this play. And what's really cool about Bunch is you can move quickly within these plays. You can snap them fast. Um, it's just a very, very powerful concept. So let's go over it and let's dive into the play Flood. If you want to get my complete Gun Bunch offensive guide, there's going to be a link in the description. Now, first and foremost, the only adjustment we're going to make is we're just going to put the triangle receiver on an option route. That's it. Literally all we're going to do, and what you're going to see is against man coverage, that's your first player that you want to hit. You want to work your running back option routes. If you guys are new to the game at this point in the season, in my opinion, one of the most consistent and underrated man-beating routes this year has been the running back option route. Um, they don't normally have the ability to be able to put a one-step-ahead person there, and so when he cuts to the outside, it's about 80 to 90% of the time consistency rating that you're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. The next route that I want to hit on is this out route. As you see right there, you want to have your best wide receiver in that position. For the Packers, that's Devontae Adams. He is going to almost always uh, win that matchup if it's man-to-man -man coverage. Now, if you're playing in mutt and you don't have the ability to put your best player there, I would just recommend putting someone there that has over 90 route running at each of the route running thresholds. So over 90 short route running, over 90 medium route running, and over 90 deep route running. And you're going to be able to have pretty good consistency um, at hitting this. Now, again, one of the things that people don't understand about man coverage uh, in this year's game specifically, this is why One Step Ahead was so powerful in the beginning of the season. The reason that this is so powerful is because what's going to happen about 90% of the time whenever you run a play um, against man coverage is you are almost always going to be granted leverage to the side that you're going to be cutting open. So for example, on this left side, this receiver on this left side, it doesn't matter if he gets pressed or not, he is always going to get inside leverage. You see right there, always gets inside leverage, then I can low ball it right on the cut and be able to beat that man-to-man -man coverage very, very easily. Not enough people on this play master this in route. The in route is the key route because the in route is the route that they are going to have to use or defend. There's no zone in the game that's going to be able to take this away. And as you can see, you are going to be able to absolutely laser them. The core part about this play is what a lot of people will try to do is they will try to start on the right side of the field um, so they'll try to start on the bunch side of the field with their user and they're going to work back to the left side of the field if they start on the right side of the field it is almost impossible for them to be able to get all the way back over that direction they have to choose and that's what makes this so powerful let's talk a little bit about this play as a cover zero beater so let's say for example they wanted to go man coverage they wanted to shade underneath you know this is a very popular little adjustment that they're going to make you're going to see we're going to just really kind of bring the, the coverage down well what's going to happen in the an event that they do that if you start to notice that just motion that circle receiver to the right and what you're going to see is if they're shading underneath he is almost always going to get basically a snap win against this so let me show you this one more time so i'm going to go to cover two man press shade underneath 
and I'm going to put those purple zones out there. So this is kind of a standard adjustment. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to give that circle receiver just a little bit of motion so that he doesn't get pressed. You see there, once again, we win to the, the, the side at which we have leverage. And as you can see, I can swerve catch this over the top. Now, one of the things you, you want to learn over time, especially the more that you run this play, you're going to learn how to throw this with uh, a little bit more success than what I'm having right here. Because what you really want to do once he gets outside leverage here, you're just going to throw it outside and over the top, as you see right here, and then you're going to get your swerve on, and that's exactly what we're looking for. And I've, I cannot tell you how many times I've thrown a touchdown with that simple route combination. Now what we want to shift into here for just a moment is we want to shift into a cover three Mabel coverage. Um, this is with 25-yard cloud uh, or 25-yard purples and then also with uh, five yard flat zones. And I want you to watch what happens on this right side of the field. Uh, the first thing you're gonna probably notice is that I can low ball this right there, right quick. So this is where we talk about what a lot of people like to do when they're defending the play flood is they like to start to the right side and then they like to work back to the left side. So what's gonna happen is if they jump to that left side too early, um, so if they just straight up jump, like if they if they go right just for a second and then they jump back left, then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to hit this little window right here to that R1 receiver. It's almost always open, and you just need to click onto the receiver and make the catch. All you're going to do is it's a simple possession catch. That's all we're trying to do. Now, one of the things that if they're smart that they'll do is they'll put a yellow zone on that left side of the field, and that's going to help them a little bit. You're going to see that he's going to kind of be in that little area, so that's where you're going to want to wait and hit that square receiver when he comes over the middle of the field. Now, I do want to talk briefly about um, a Mabel coverage defense that you're going to see. So let's say they do that, and let's say that they kind of keep that adjustment, and let's just say for sake of this video that this is their user, and he's going to drop right into this area, and he's going to take away the running back, and then he's going to kind of basically bait you into throwing the square receiver, so you're not going to want to work that left side, but you're going to want to work the right side. Well, if that's the case, you just want to wait on this R1 receiver. Once he gets to that sideline, you're going to low ball it just like that. If that zone is at 20 to 25 yards, Yards, they cannot come underneath that out route. That's the beauty of this play. It is darn near impossible to stop. One of the other other um, one of the other underrated things that you can do. This is specifically on like first down situations um, and things like that. But what you can do if you want to is you can smart route that R1 receiver. What you're going to see is it's going to create kind of a little bit more shallow out route, and he is going to have just a little bit more clean space to work on that right side of the field. But this is the primary reason why this is truly what I believe to be. I mean, it is just an amazing, amazing play. It is it is truly a very, very effective uh, passing concept. And I'm going to try to show this to you. This is match coverage. I just want you to see this. What's also really cool is if they run any kind of core quarters coverage and I hope I don't know if I'll be able to get this for you here but basically this circle receiver is going to almost always burn it uh, we weren't able to get a good example there I'm going to jump out of here reset my zone drops to default in practice mode if you don't reset them to default it doesn't quite uh, do what we wanted to do but this is why this is the best passing play in Madden literally everything that the defense wants to be able to do and honestly the best defense that I've personally seen against this is a cover two the problem is the cover two against gun bunch is not exactly the most sound way to play you leave yourself very vulnerable to plays like verticals and plays like the mesh the corner route from the mesh uh, concept but if you take a look at this again this is quarters coverage i'm just going to audible straight down into the cover for show two and i'm going to press coverage and what you're going to notice on this right side it's a glitch within the game because the quarters coverage does not make sense as to why this happens this fade route is so glitchy and it is literally always going to be cover four quarters over the top for a one play touchdown they have to deep half on that side or they have to put some kind of inside third or something over there to be able to stop that What's, what's interesting is, let's say, for example, let's say, for example, they do it inside third. I just want to uh, kind of sit on this and just kind of close this out for you. But if you watch, this is an inside third. If you look, I can pass lead this all the way to the right because I have a little bit of a step on him and I have a decent shot. The other thing that I'm going to have against cover four quarters is let's say that they do that and let's say that they deep have, and let's just say for sake of argument that the circle receiver is taken away. Well, what's going to happen is you still got your option route and that's the beauty of the gun bunch. It's the best offense in the entire game. And if you want to get my complete gun bunch offensive guide, it is on sale right now for just $15. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. You can get started today with this offense. This offense truly is the best offense in man 21. And if you have any questions, about the offense you can always text me my cell phone number is 
218-619-0000. But I would encourage you, if you want to master one play from Madden 21, especially as we head into a time of preparation for Madden 22, it would be the flood concept. It is absolutely uh, very, very powerful and very, very effective. Thanks for your time. And if you want to get the guide, it is available in the description.